Welcome back to the Math 100B final review video. Today we're going to be going over the questions for the chapter 3 portion of the final review at the end of your textbook. Uh, chapter 3 is all about graphing, so we've got a few graphs that we're going to need to make here. The first one is uh, y equals 2x minus 4. And that's already a nice slope intercept form, so we're just going to use that to our advantage. We have here a y-intercept. The y-intercept is going to be the point 0, negative 4. That's where we'll start. And then our slope here is 2. And because it's a whole number, I'm going to go ahead and put that over 1. So that means we're going to go up 2 and right 1 on our graph. So we'll start at negative 4. Nice straight lines. And we'll put our y-intercept right there at 0, negative 4. From here, we're going to go up 2 and right 1. So up 1, 2, right 1, right there. And we have our two dots. We can keep going up 2, right 1 if you want, or down 2, left 1. Either way, we have our graph. That's all we have to do after we connect the dots. Number 20 is not in slope-intercept form, so I'm going to use a different method to graph it. I'm going to actually find the x and y intercepts. So let's start with finding the x-intercept. To do that, we're going to plug in 0 for y into the equation. So 6x minus 2 times 0 equals 18. Nice thing about plugging in 0, that just goes away. So we're left with 6x equals 18, divide by 6, and x equals 3. So that means my x-intercept is the point on the x-axis, 3, 0. Let's go ahead and find the y-intercept. That means x equals 0, so 6 times 0 minus 2y equals 18. Again, that 0 makes the first part go away. So I'm going to have negative 2y equals 18. Divide by negative 2. y equals negative 9. So that means my y-intercept is the point on the y-axis 0, negative 9. We've got our two points, so we can go ahead and graph. I'm going to go on the x-axis to 3, 0 and on my y-axis to negative 9 down here. And connect my dots. There you go. That is the graph of 6x minus 2y equals 18. And we were able to review also how to find x and y intercepts. A very useful thing to know. All right, let's scroll down to number 21 and number 22. 21, if you notice, it has no y. It's just an x in its equation. That means it's going to be a vertical line. And all we have to do is figure out where that vertical line is on the axis. So we're going to start by just solving like it's a regular equation. Subtract 6 from both sides. We have 2x equals 8 left. Divide both sides by 2 x equals 4. So that means I'm going to go on my x-axis. Let's make that a little bit straighter. 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's my vertical line of 2x plus 6 equals 14. Number 22 is very similar, but instead of having no y, it has no x, just a y. So that means it's going to be a horizontal line. Luckily, this one's already solved for us, so we just have to go on the y-axis down to oops, down to negative 2.5. So there's 1, there's 2, there's 3, so I'm just going to go halfway in between 2 and 3. And there's my line, y equals negative 2.5. So there's some graphs for you to review, to practice with. Let's look at 23 and 24. These go over how to find equations of lines given specific characteristics of them. On number 23, we have the slope, negative 1. That's what m stands for. And it goes through the point x, 
negative 2 and y 5, negative 2 5. So I know the equation of the line is y equals mx plus b. So I'm going to just start plugging things in that I know already. I know that m is going to be negative 1, but I don't know the y-intercept or the b. I do have here an x value from the point and a y value from the point. So I can plug in an m and x and y. y from that point is positive 5, m is negative 1, x is negative 2, and I don't know b, but now I can solve for it. 5 equals negative 1 times negative 2, positive 2. Go ahead and subtract 2 from both sides, and b equals 5. So I'm not done yet. I still have to make my equation, right? That was the goal of these problems. So my equation is y equals the slope is negative 1, x plus the y-intercept, which is Five. That's my final answer on number 23. Number 24 is very similar, but they don't give us the slope. we got to find it ourselves. So here's our formula. I'm going to subtract the y values. Subtract the x values. Make yourself a little fraction. So I'm going to go ahead and label which one's which. Here's my first point and my second point. So I'll do y1 which is 1, minus y2, which is 0, over x1, which is 2, minus x2, which is 4. Simplifying that, I have 1 over 2 minus 4 is negative 2, so my slope is negative 1 half. Now we can just follow the same procedure we did on number 23. So I know for my equation I have negative 1 half x plus b, and we can pick either of the two points I want to plug in for x and y. I'm going to pick 4 and 0 because I love plugging in 0. So x is 4, and y is 0. Add b. That's a nice number there, negative 1 half times 4 is negative 2 plus b. I'll go ahead and add 2 to both sides. And b is positive 2. So again, now I have my m and my b, and I can make my equation. So final answer, y equals negative 1 half x plus b, which we found was 2. And there's the equation of the line that goes through 2, 1, and four zero. This has been your review questions for chapter three for the final exam review uh, for Math 100B.